side approaching the bus. The bus is not leaning to the left or to the right. There are no leaks underneath and the inspection sticker is in place and up to date. Approaching the bus, I'll see it from the side and look at my entry doors. To begin with, uh, glasses in place, no damage, no dry rot on the molding also. No other damage. My handrail in place and secure. There are no tripping hazards on my steps. Everything is secure, nothing, no loose items, no damages. First thing what I see is my ABC fire extinguisher. It is secure, fully charged, needle in the green and the pin is in place. Next, I'm uh, checking my first aid kit. There should be nine items in here. And there is. And in here we also have our registration insurance card. I'm checking for the expiration date and matching the VIN number. And to the left of our uh, first aid we also have spare fuses. Okay, next I have in place and secure our three reflective triangles. Then back here I'm checking my DVIR. I'm going back three days. One, two, three, to make sure that any potential damages are fixed and we're signed off by a mechanic. My windshield is secure, molding secure, fans are all secure, no damage. I have my interior mirror, which is in place, secure camera in place, secure, Elmo secure and in place. Okay, and okay. okay, we opened the hood. I'm going to start first on the driver's side. We have our brake fluid, power steering fluid and radiator fluid. All three fluids are up to level. There are no leaks and damages of any kind. I have my transmission What is this Fifth Avenue today? <laughs> the, the gearbox in place, no leak, uh, no damage, steering linkage all in place, no physical damage. I have my pitman arm and drag link in place, secured by castle nuts and cotter pins. Also, we have all our wires and hoses in place, none of them have any damage or dry rot of any kind. Shock absorber right here, it is secured, no leaks and our leaf springs are secure, no damage, no shift of any kind and they're secured by two U-balls. Then I have my uh, brake line which is secured, no dry rot, no leaks. My brake pads are in good condition and have plenty of life left. Now the inner tire wall and outer tire wall have no damage of any kind, no bruises, no cuts, no dry rot. The tire itself on top, all uh, grooves are evenly worn. Front tires cannot have le less than 430 seconds of tread depth. Front tires also uh, no retread, no mismatch and uh, no regroove. Wow. Allowed. Allowed, yeah, exactly. Then uh, I have my rim here secured, no welds, no dents. I have my lug nuts all secured, two, four, six, eight, ten. They're all tight, no looseness. The same on my oil cap here is all secure, no leakage. My valve stem is secure, not bent, correctly capped, and I could take a a gauge to measure the pressure should be between 95 and 100. I am picking my mud that all secure. Uh, now on the passenger side of the engine we have our air intake which is secure, no damage. Our uh, alternator is secure, it is belt driven. And also we have our valves here and uh, our windshield washer fluid which is up to level no leaks no damage of any kind all 
also over here our hoses and cables are all secure, no dry rod. Now I'm uh, looking at my shock absorber which is secure, no damage. My leaf spring is also secure, it's not shifted or bent. It's secured with two new boards. Okay, I'm looking inside for my Brake, uh, brake line which is secure, no dry rot, no damage. I'm checking my uh, pads here which have plenty of life left. And uh, also on this side, the inside and outside of my tire are in good condition. There are no cuts, bruises or dry rot of any kind. The top of the tire is evenly worn. Also on this side, you cannot have less than 430 seconds of tread depth. As I mentioned on the other side, front tires cannot be retreaded, no uh, recapped, and no mismatch. Uh, next, I'm looking at my um, my rim here, which is secure, no bends, no uh, no no welds. I'm checking my lug nuts, two, four, six, eight, ten. They're all secure, all tight, no looseness. My oil up right here, the cap is secured no leaks. Also on this side my valve stem is not bent, it is secure, correctly capped and I could measure the uh, pressure with the gauge which should be between 95 and 100. Okay, I'm close. In general also there appears to be no damage at all to everything else. The steering wheel is adjusted for me and my mirrors are all uh, also adjusted for me. I always put in my seat belt first now the uh, first thing i'm going to check is the brake assist motor by stepping on the uh, brake and it comes on it is working next i'm going to check all my warning lights for that i'm going to put the key in the ignition and turn it into the on position all warning lights turning on and off the only thing what uh, must stay on is the parking brake if the ABS light would uh, stay on, the bus cannot be driven. Next, we're gonna check our uh, the neutral safety switch. I put my foot on the brake, switch into drive, and try to start my bus. One, two, bus is not starting, neutral safety switch is working. Okay, and I'm gonna start my bus now. I shift it back into neutral. Shift and 
to neutral. Secure my bus. And I'm gonna check now my switches and gauges. We switch on the master switch, it's on. I switch on the driver dome light, it's working. Indicated here, on, off. Then the uh, interior dome lights, on. I'm gonna check them all and they're all working. I'm switching back off. Switch of my boost pump, working. Heated, heated mirrors, working. Indicated also by the light. Then I have the rear heater, low, high, working, off. Defrost fan, low, high, working, off. Stepwell heater, low, high, working, off. Driver heat, low, high, working. But my mirrors are working here, I mean my, my fans, low, high, and I'm going to switch on my headlight now. And, uh, the water temperature should be between 140 and 210, oil between 30 and 60, fuel between at least half a tank, voltage between 12 and 14 in degree. I'm gonna test now my windshield wipers and the fluid. And it's working, I know, off, working. Then I'm checking my left turn signal indicated here and crossover I also could check on ammo it's working right right signal working here I can work it there and also on ammo my high beam working okay then I put my test my horn it's also working and I switch on my hazard lights working it's working so and what we do now is uh, I'm uh, as it lights I'm switch on my ambers as well check on ammo and it is working now I'm gonna do my interior walk for the purpose of the pre-trip I will leave the engine running I usually would not do so I always would turn off the engine and take the key with me. Okay, top to bottom, left to right. We have our panels, all of them in place. Rivets, all of them in place, none of them are missing. Our the dome lights and lenses are all in place, none of them are missing, broke or, or cracked. All interior emergency exits are clearly marked with uh, lettering. Okay, then we have our center aisle, which is all secure, no uh, tripping hazards of any kind. I have my window stops on my left, all of them in place. Window stops on my right, all of them are in place. Okay, I'm gonna check now the seats, that they are secure. Top and bottom, secure, 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 secure. Secure, secure. All the way in the back, I'm checking all my windows. This is all secure and the molding is not cracked or dry rotted. The emergency exit light is working, lens in place. Head pump secure. I'm gonna open up now the emergency door here. The buzzer will come on. I will open it all the way and I'm gonna check my hazards and uh, uh, ambers. Everything came on and also the molding is all secure, no dry rot. Okay, I'm gonna check now my window stoppers on my left and on my right. They're all present. Okay, and now I'm gonna open up our first emergency hatch. Opens freely and the buzzer comes on. Now I'm gonna open up uh, my first emergency window opens freely on the, all the way and the buzzer comes on as well that's enough emergency equipment let's move on okay we're gonna go outside now and i'm gonna first of all cancel my hazard lights and switch on my high beam and left turn signal okay i'm gonna my SOS on, I'm gonna open the door. Now that the door is open, I also check my 
stay with the light, which is working. Right, I have it here, all secure. My step, all step secure. Mirror and bracket are secure, no damage. Lens is secure. Also, the everything here is secure the mirror and the bracket. My crossover gate extended secure. High beam is working. The lens not cracked. Okay, I'm start from top to bottom. Uh, we got all the way on the top our three uh, clip lights. Secure, not missing, no, no, no physical damage. School bus sign in place. I have our light hoods which are not bent. My SOS lights are working. Lenses are all secure. And uh, then coming here, my grill is all secure. Bumper secure, license plate secure and in place. I'll check here on my on this side, lens is secure, left turn signal working, high beam is working. Also my bracket and crossover mirror all secure. Left turn signal working. Mirror and bracket secure. Window opens freely. Handle secure. Step up also secure. I'm gonna check now my fuses. It's all secure, all clean, no dry rod, uh, no damage of any kind. Uh, batteries, same here, all secure, uh, no damages of any kind, no debris. Next, I'm gonna check my uh, SOS sign, which is all secure, all lenses are in place and working. Left turn signal working here as well. I'm gonna step back now and check the bus from top to bottom. Uh, starting on the top, we have our three clip lights, two orange, one red. Then our emergency, our two emergency doors, I mean windows, are uh, um, clearly marked with lettering and reflective tape. All my lettering, all on my writing side, please. Transportation, your steel, you know what can I get? Phone number, seats and bus number. I'm checking now underneath also. There are also no leaks of any kind. Drive shafts in place, not, not bent. It is supported and secured uh, by the hangers. And uh, the differential in the back, not damaged, no leaks. The rear right duals uh, uh, have, have no damage as well. Also, I want to point out our reflectors on the bottom. Two orange, one red. I'm proceeding now to my rear left duals. Why does it always have to park right here? What the fuck? Can we move those? <laughs> Cut. <laughs> okay. Uh, starting all the way in the back, we have our leaf springs, which are secure, not shifted, not damaged. There's no debris inside the tires, are secure. And uh, the rear. They're evenly worn. The rear tires cannot have less than two thirty seconds of tread dead. And uh, rear tires can be retreaded and recapped. Now the tire walls, I mean there's no damages of any kind, no cuts, no bruises, no dry rot. No welds, no dents. Our two valve stems, one and two, are in place, correctly capped. And uh, I will come up to this side. Well, the wind. I was trying to block the wind from the speaker. Oh, yeah. uh, um, okay. I could measure with the gauge. I could measure the pressure. Should be also between 95 and 100. My lug nuts are all in place. They are not loose. My uh, the seal is uh, 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 correctly mounted with nuts and there are also the axis here actually and uh, there are no leaks of any kind. Take my tires and the mud flap is also in place. I'm gonna move on now to the rear of the bus. Top to bottom we have our three red drip lights secure, none of them are missing or broken, school bus sign in place, the light hood's not bent, uh, and my SOS is also working here, and left turn signal is working, 
and uh, emergency door is clearly marked with the light, uh, yeah, exactly. with reflective. Yeah, it's emergency door is clearly marked with lettering and reflective. I'm gonna open it up now and sure it's on the way to the locks into place. I'm gonna check in the interior to make sure there are no potential fire hazards. And also check underneath that my molding is uh, my both not missing and no dry rot. Okay, and the buzzer came on. So all my lenses are secure. Light is working. All secure on here. Secure. Underneath we have also our uh, gas tank cage which is all secure. Lenses not cracked, not missing. We have bus number right here and of course we have our two uh, reflectors on this side. The exhaust is uh, not sticking out inside so it's all secure on that side. Okay, moving over here, let's start with the diesel. Correct the cap, no leaks, no physical damage. I have my fuel cage, it's also on this side, all secure. Picking it, clapping back. Also here we have our three uh, uh, clip. Uh, yeah. clip lights. Yeah, three clip lights, two orange, one red. Our emergency windows are clearly marked with letters and reflected tape. Also below that we have all our writing which is in place. Also we will scan these capacity and we have our reflectors to orange uh, one red. I'm checking now the rear right duals um, starting off with the leaf springs which are in place, no physical damage, not shifted, not broken. Also our rear duals on this side are evenly worn and cannot have less than 230 seconds of track deck. There's nothing in between. The inner and outer walls are fine. There's no bulges, no cuts, no dry rot of any kind. Um, like I said earlier, also, the, also these can be retreaded and uh, regrooved. So also my, my rims are secure. No welds, no dents. And my axles here, correctly mounted, no leaks. Lug nuts are secure. And my valve stems, one and two, both in place, correctly capped, not bent. I could, also here I could uh, take a, ca a gauge and measure and it should be between 95 and 100 PSI. Kick, okay. kick. So we're inside the bus again. Now I'm gonna switch from high beam to low beam and from my left turn signal to my right turn signal. Okay, I'll work. I'm gonna check first in the back. Okay, at the end of the day, I would do my post trip. What would be that I uh, check for sleeping children and items left behind, and also uh, any possible damages. I would fill out my DVIR and give the DVIR and the key, uh, bring it into the office. Here we're gonna do a railroad crossing. So at least 100 feet in front of the railroad, I activate my hazard lights and uh, tap my brakes to make sure the traffic is responding. I'm gonna switch off my master switch, noise makers, and request silent from the students. I'm pulling over 15 to 50 feet in front of the track. I'm gonna secure my bus. And yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just putting it into neutral. And uh, I open my window. I open my door. I check Elmo. I look and listen left and right for oncoming trains, birds, horns, and whistles. 
length of clearance in front of me. Also, if a train would be coming, I would be securing my bus. I'm going to shift down to first gear and I look and listen left and right again. I'm going to close my door. I check ammo. I check all my zones to make sure nobody is passing me. When everything is safe, I'm going to drive over the tracks without hesitation and and then uh, after the rear of the bus has cleared the tracks I switch into drive switch on my master switch and then I cancel my hazard lights so at least 100 feet in the front of the uh, drop off point I activate my ambers I check ammo. I tap my brakes so that traffic behind me know that I'll be stopping shortly. I'm stopping, I'm put, putting over to the right 10 feet in front of the stock. I'm activating my reds, I check ammo to make sure that it is deployed. I'm securing my bus. And Dan is talking to the students. It is now safe to stand up and uh, move to the front. And of course, to do this whole thing, I'm going to have my right foot on the brake and right hand on the horn. Once, once you are at the front of the steps, please, uh, and when I open the door, please move all the way to the left in front of the crossing gate and wait for my nod to cross. Please never ever cross in the back of the bus and uh, make sure that you look to, look to the left and to the right and to, 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 to see my stop sign. I'm, of, I'm checking my zones to make sure traffic is stopped. When it is safe to do so, I open my door and I check ammo. I count my students as they exit. One, two, three, four. When the last student has cleared the doors, I'm closing my door, I'm checking ammo, also making sure that stop sign across the gate is still engaged. I'm checking my zones again, left, front, right, and rear. When it is safe to do so, I nod to all the students to cross and I count them as they do. One, two, three, four. I count them again on the other side. One, two, three, four. I look inside to make sure all students are seated. I look outside again to make sure nobody's coming back to me for forgotten items. Checking my zones again, then I secure my bus. to do so, I nod to the students to cross 
and I count them as they do. One, two, three, four. When the first student has reached the right crossover mirror, I'm opening my door and I check Elmo. And uh, I count my students what, uh, as they come in. One, two, three, four. When the last student has reached the top of the steps, I'm closing my door, I'm checking Elmo, check my SOS and crossover. I'm checking outside. This is a new stuff. Thank you. I'm checking outside to make sure nobody, uh, they, I have no stragglers or latecomers. I'm checking inside to make sure everybody is seated. I'm, uh, I'm securing the bus. Checking the notes one more time. Then I, uh, I cancel my red and I check ammo. Make sure that it's actually closing. I turn on my left turn signal. Starting now with my five second cross, starting with my right crossover mirror. One, two, three, four, five. I'm checking on my mirror here to make sure that the merge when it's safe to do so. I march into traffic and cancel my left turn signal. 